What's up guys, welcome back to another video of Mac on Sports. So, it seems like you guys really, really, really enjoyed the Fort video a lot. I'm in Florida now, um, I'm visiting the grandparents for a couple of days, so I will not be back for maybe three to four days, but when I do, part two with Tom. We have talked about it, it is official. Me and Tom will be doing a part two. We haven't decided where, we're thinking Walmart, but we don't know yet, but that is where part two is gonna be. And we might have special guests also come with us actually. So, part two, first week of January, look out for that. Today's video um, is gonna be a little Kentucky Louisville preview. As you know, it's arguably the best ba college basketball rivalry up there with Duke in North Carolina, but Kentucky Louisville is pretty sweet. And then we got the final four preview. We got Clemson versus Notre Dame and Alabama, Oklahoma. So let's just start off with um, the one verse four in football. Bama, Clemson, nah, Bama, Oklahoma. Basically, what I'm thinking here, Tua says he's 80 to 85%, okay? So he's not 100% healthy. Now, Kyler Murray, you know, he's been an absolute baller this year for Oklahoma. Um, Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown is his nickname. He's questionable. He's got a little bit of an ankle injury. Oklahoma is really going to need him to play if they're going to have a legit chance, I think. Now, they do have a high-powered offense. Um, they got a good tight end. Their running game is actually one of the best in the Big 12, so that should actually be interesting. But um, I personally think, in my personal opinion, Kyler Murray winning Heisman was by far the worst thing that could have happened to Oklahoma, and I'll tell you why. Basically, that's just motivation for Tua and Nick Saban. They're going to see that, and they're going to be like, all right, you know what, NCAA, screw you. I'm just going to go out and ball. I'm going to say Tua is going to have a big game. Nick Saban is going to want to come out there and absolutely punch Oklahoma in the mouth. Just straight. Here we go. Let's play big boy football, and we are going to shred you to pieces. Now, I see uh, – it could be close, but I see Bama winning 28 to 17. Good game. Oklahoma's got a high-powered offense. So my score prediction doesn't mean anything. But that's just what I see. Game number two. We have Clemson-Notre Dame. Notre Dame's undefeated. Personally, um, I've never been a Notre Dame fan. I've never liked Notre Dame. But I have to do this as a unbiased. I personally think here. I'm going to say I think Dexter Lawrence not playing for Clemson because of testing positive for an unbanned or for a banned substance. Um, that actually hurts Clemson. He's one of the best D linemen in the country. Um, yeah, do I think it's going to hurt him badly? No. I feel like uh, Christian Wilkins is probably the best defensive, one of the best defensive linemen, probably behind Nick Boza and Josh Allen out of Kentucky. Go Big Blue. Um, I think Wilkins is going to have a big game. I personally think, I don't know how Trevor Lawrence is going to ball out. You know, he's a freshman. Clemson hasn't had big time games yet. I don't know how Clemson's going to affair with it. But um, I just think Clemson's got too much uh, high-powered talent on the offense and defensive side of the field. Their defense is unreal. They've got a good offense. Trevor Lawrence has just got to make easy check down passes. Don't do anything stupid. I'm saying it's going to be 34-21 Clemson. But once again, what do I know? Now on to the big game for me. Kentucky level basketball. For some people, if you are Kentucky bred in the bluegrass state, this is the one game you care about. You, a Kentucky fan told our one of our players, Tyler Hero, but at the beginning of the season, look, I don't care what you do, you have to beat level. You can lose all the rest of your games, but just beat level. And I, I, I don't agree with that, but I agree. It's, you know, 50-50. Like, I'm, of course you want to win all your games. But this Louisville game just means a little more to Kentucky and Louisville fans. This gives you bragging rights. This helps you in recruiting. This helps you talk trash to the other opposing fans. Now, let me tell you, basketball, football, okay. This past year, we beat them by, I want to say, a combined 74, 75 points. The biggest margin I think Kentucky's ever had over Louisville. And, yeah. So in this basketball game, it's going to be a tough environment. I don't know how these how these freshmen 
and some sophomore are going to react. It's their first true row games. In the eight years Cal's had his first true row games in his eight years, we are two and six. So our first real row game of the year, we've won two and lost six. And if you look at the course of over Calipari's era at Kentucky, his good teams like playing on the road. You look at De'Aaron Fox and Malik Monk. You look at De DeMarcus Cousins' team um, with John Wall. And you look at the 38-0 and team where Calipari said, look, you're not going to like it, but we're going to come into your building and we're going to stomp all over you and we're going to send you home sad. Um, Swaggy Cal's back a little bit. So I'm just hoping the Cats come out. I see the Cats winning by six. Um... I'm thinking this is going to be a breakout game for freshman Tyler Hero. He likes to be the little villain. Uh, opposing student sections talk trash. He'll chirp you all game. Go look at his uh, mixtape from Whitnell or Whitnell, something like that, high school. He was always the villain, and uh, he put up 40-point games left and right. I'm thinking Tyler has a big-time game, though, and the Cats go on and win against Louisville by six. Battle of the Bluegrass. Cats win. And, uh, yeah. I feel like the Cats are going to sky keep going in the rankings. And then, back to the fourth. Here we go. So me and Tom have talked about it. And I know if you've even made it to this part of the video, congratulations. Okay? I'm glad you guys have made it. You don't want to hear me. Some of you just want to watch four videos. Some of you want to talk about sports. i got to vary it out here. But, here we go. First week of January, me and Tom have been, we've been doing some search or some research, okay, per se, on like what we can do to make our fort pretty cool. We got some seek, or pretty sick ideas. If we can pull it off, it's going to be unbelievable. So definitely stay tuned for that. Tell your friends. Um, or we can, we're thinking about going pretty extre extreme. We want to hit a double decker, try to climb to the top. I don't know if that's going to happen. But we might get a small enough TV, okay? We're going to try to find an outlet cord and uh, maybe play a little 2K in the fort. We don't know if that's going to work, okay? That's actually really tough to do. But we want to try it. We think that would be absolutely sick. So just hope for the best. But yeah, go. And if you haven't watched the Ford video, um, link's in the description. So you go give that a look. And uh, yeah, like it and subscribe. But if you want to see a part two with me and Tom, um, like, subscribe, tell your friends. And yeah, it was good to see you guys, as always.